In this video, I'm going to look at how you write chemical equations from supplied information. Now, what this kind of question would be testing would be your knowledge of chemical formulae, obviously your, your ability to balance chemical equations, and your use of state symbols. So I'll just quickly explain what state symbols are, just in case you've never come across them. So these are these letters, lowercase letters in brackets, and we would typically put those after the chemical formula in the equation. So if you've got a solid, it's an S, liquid is L, gas is G, and if you've got an aqueous solution, i.e. a solution in water, you would put AQ. So here's the first one. A solution of sodium carbonate reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid to form sodium chloride water and carbon dioxide. So we've got to turn that into a balanced chemical equation with state symbols. Now you'll notice that I've given you the formula for sodium carbonate. So sometimes you're given the formula of chemicals. If you're not given the formula, that means that you would be expected to know what they are. So the first thing that's going to appear on the screen in a moment is the unbalanced equation. So I'll just give you a chance to either pause the video or quickly write that down. So there it is there. So Na2Cl3, hydrochloric acid has a formula HCl, sodium chloride is NaCl, and obviously water and carbon dioxide, we know those. So the next thing we need to do is balance it. So we've got two sodiums in the sodium carbonate, but only one here. So we're probably going to need a 2 in front of the NaCl. That's going to double up the chlorines. So if we put a 2 in front of there, then that will help us with those hydrogens as well. So that's actually what we need to balance the equation. State symbols now. So we've got a solution of sodium carbonate. So that's obviously AQ. Dilute hydrochloric acid, AQ again. And the sodium chloride would actually dissolve in the water that's formed. So we're going to have AQ, L, and obviously carbon dioxide to gas. So there are the state symbols. So that would be the answer to that one there. Next one. Iron reacts with chlorine gas to form solid iron 3 chloride. And again, you're given the formula Fe. Cl3. So what would the unbalanced equation look like? First of all, just to check we know our formulae. There it is there. Metals, all metals in equations is just the symbol. There's no little numbers or anything, so it's just Fe in this case. Chlorine goes around as a diatomic molecule, so it's Cl2, and we were given the FeCl3. So balancing that now, there's the numbers there. So two Fe's, three Cl2's, two FeCl3's. So you can see two Fe's, two Fe's, three Cl2's, so that's six Cl's on the left, two threes, six on the right. And the last one, zinc powder reacts with dilute nitric acid to form a solution of zinc nitrate and hydrogen gas. So what would the unbalanced equation look like for that? There it is there. So we're being tested on our knowledge of common acids. This is a salt here. So it has the formula ZnNO3 twice. And really, you need to know your ions, which I cover in another video. The ions involved in this are the Zn2 plus ion and the nitrate ion, which is NO3, overall 1 minus. So we need two of these for every one of those. So to balance that, we need just a 2 in front of the nitric acid and the state symbols are those. 